Well, hello and welcome. I am Josh Knox of IamJoshKnox.com. Today's video we're going to talk about the PL300 test, which is the test you take to become a Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate. Right? This is the, the page that talks about the test and about the certificate. The first thing I want to talk about is why why take a certification certification test like this? Why why do the PL300 test? I think there's a few different reasons. One, if you use Power BI every day in your your day-to-day -day job, that that includes me. That's something that I do. Taking the PL300 test can be a good way to expose yourself to aspects of the Power BI application that maybe you don't use frequently. For instance, perhaps you do a lot of reporting, but you don't do a lot of data modeling. Just as as a part of studying for this test you can be exposed to more parts of the application than you might be in in your day-to-day -day work life. If you don't work with Power BI in your day-to-day -day job, but perhaps you would like to, perhaps you're aspiring to, you're looking to, to get into data analyst type role, or you, you work as a data analyst and you want to learn how to use Power BI, then this, this test is, and the, the trainings that go along with this test are a good framework to, to get you up to speed. If you're looking for a job as a data analyst, taking this exam and having this certificate is, is a nice thing to be able to put on your resume. I don't think it's sufficient to get a job in this space. I think along with having the certificate, you want to also build up a portfolio of work of your own, especially you know if you have access to Power BI to, to just build some dashboards about some data that interests you. I think that makes you a very compelling candidate, but having the certificate also sort of reinforces that you have the skills to back up what you, you put in your, your portfolio. So this is the Microsoft Learn page for the PL300 test, right? You can see that it's talking about becoming a Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate. It's an intermediate level test. All right, if we scroll down, the, the page here talks about the different things that are in the test, the skills that are measured, there are some Microsoft Learn uh, classes or, or learn pat, learning paths that, that you can take to sort of get exposure to all the material that will be on the test. And there's also a, a pra practice exam with 50 questions that might be similar to questions that would be on the test. I'd say that, that I'd, I'd very much encourage you, if you're preparing for the test, to you know, take the practice assessment use some of these these demo experiences prior to taking the test for real right that the test does cost money right it's it's 165 dollars you can schedule the exam you can take it in the privacy of your own home there's some some details in there about about how to do that and you need to be sort of in a room by yourself without anybody else right you'll you can read all the details in there um, but anyways what i wanted to talk about in this video is just a, a suggested approach for, for how to start to study for the, the Power BI uh, exam, for this PL300 exam. When I am studying a new application, a new system, something like this, you know, Microsoft has these great Microsoft learning courses, right? So you, you, can, you can click through each of the learning paths, and then the, the learning paths will, will sort of take you on a trip of, of information to study, and you can go go next, 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 and walk your way through through what's happening in the in the learning path. Yeah, read read the path, walk walk through the path, and then you'll see that at the end of a given section, right? So there's you know seven sections in this unit. When we get to the end of it, you'll see there are some some knowledge check questions just to to check whether or not you were retaining the information that was was part of that that unit. So I think it's it's really good to, to go through and, and, and breeze through these readings. One thing that I do, and this is just personally for me, is is when I'm looking at, let's go back to sort of the, the trunk of the, polarized of these different sections. There's one, two, three, four, five different, what's the right feature to call it? I guess they have units inside of them. So these are different training paths that relate to the, uh, right? So the, I guess the overall course is Power BI Data Analyst, and then there are these different paths inside of here. What I like to do is, as I am studying the, the units inside of a, a given area here, I like to, to take notes in OneNote. It's just something I've, I've done ever since I started as a consultant you know, 10 years ago, 
when I when I look at a new module, I, I like to put the the links into uh, just into a page in OneNote, and then as I read, I also copy down just sort of what's what's on those pages, and this is just my personal preference. So I I copy basically what's in the unit into OneNote and then I read it in OneNote and as I find things that that stand out to me for for one reason or another sometimes let's see if there's a good good example here sometimes what I do is is I might just bold things that are are sort of extra useful to me or I think that I'll come back to or I might use the highlight function um, and do that and you might say well why do that why have sort of this you know, this is basically just copying what's on the website onto you know my local OneNote. I say I, I like it because it's it's searchable, right? So I, I just have the knowledge locally. So you know if I ever uh, having done this, right, there's parts of one of uh, parts of Power BI for instance that I don't use every day and I'd say, oh what what was that thing about paginated reports, right? How do they work? I can go to paginated reports and and pull up this section and and, and it's right here. And I, I guess I can always go back into the Microsoft Learn area and and hope that it's there, but I just like having my own copy, and and I guess you know in today's age I could also go to ChatGPT and probably get a specific answer to my specific question as opposed to the more general description of paginated reports. Yes, but this is just sort of what I've done, and it's kind of a part of a the completeness to me of, of having done done the reading or, or breeze through the reading and then I, I kind of go from there. So the things that, that I would strongly encourage you to do is that inside the different units there are also exercises. So occasionally there's more than just, you know, if we, right, there's 13 units in this thing, right? Some of them have, you know, different information to consume. And then every so often, there is, oops, I just got around it. I'll come back in here and click my link again. But basically, you have these exercises, which, sorry about that. Let me try one more time. Here we are. The exercises come with a complete lab that lets you log into an environment that has Power BI and, and it's connected to some data and lets you, you do so, it gives you a, a script to follow and you can follow along the steps and actually do, do the clicking in Power BI. To me, this is one of like the most important things in terms of how do I learn things, right? You can learn by reading. Learning by doing to me is just that much more effective. So along with this video, of me telling you go if you're interested in the PL 300 class go for it all the all the resources all the knowledge is here you just need to study it and my suggestion is sort of take take notes take personal private notes on the things that you're studying because those notes you can then take with you forever even though some information is available on the internet at large if you you go through the readings and take notes and if in addition to that you you work with the the demo the different demo environments and do the demo scripts do those exercises I, you should do fantastic on the the pl 300 rbi test uh so along with this video i'm going to put together some other videos it's just me working through the exercises so if you you feel motivated to do the exercises but you're you're just not quite sure how to start or you'd like someone to do them along with you my thought is that you could maybe just play the other youtube video of me doing exercises in the background as you do the exercises and then you know i i'm not going to do everything perfect or or right but like you're doing the exercises and not be alone so that's the thought again i hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the pl 300 exam I'll, I'll put the links down below and everything be well